Hey there. So by request, I'm going to do a quick 20 minute low key flow. Something very simple to connect you back to your breath, to your body and feeling your breath and body coming back into sync, into rhythm and into the present moment. So we're going to start simply in child's pose. So we have a yoga mat. Any props you have right now, I have two blocks out and a blanket. If you don't have those, that's okay. I will modify. And you're starting in a nice child's pose. So you're going to sit your sit bones back towards your heels, reach your arms forward. Knees can be close or wide. And drop the board into the floor. We're going to breathe here about six breaths. And I want you to try and get seven counts in, seven counts out. So breathing wide, as if you can feel some nice hands, some affection right on your low ribs. Three deep. It might be an audible breath in through the nose and out through the nose. Then we're going to start to flow it. So as you inhale, you're going to come into tabletop. Maybe you'll need to readjust. As you exhale, take it back, down. I'm sorry, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Three more times. Inhale. So instead of coming to tabletop, we're going to come into a plank, which is essentially high push up. But still exhale, child. Inhale. Exhale, child. Two. Inhale. Firing up that low core, keeping the face soft. Child. Good. Last one, plank. We're going to take it right back to tabletop. Good. Taking that body and kind of circling around the wrist three times one way. Toes can be tucked or untucked. Good. Three times the other way. Spreading those fingers, breathing down with your thumb and index. Good. From here, hands underneath the shoulders, maybe tighten it up. Exhale, cap it up. Inhale, chest. Exhale, cap the back. Find some nice tight spaces in there. Inhale, open. Last one. Around. Open. Let's take that first down facing dog. Hands go wider. Lift those knees. Pedal out. One knee bends, follow by the Doing that about four times. Good. Let's take those knees down. Step that right leg all the way forward. You can come onto your tippy fingers. Untuck those left toes. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sweep back. Palms squeeze down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, sweep back. Last one. Inhale, scoop up. Stay upright. We're going to turn that right arm back, left arm forward. Do it three times. Inhale. Exhale, split the arms. Inhale up. Good. Last one. From here, left hand to the floor. Right toes stay where they are. And left toes tap. Reach up. Circle out that wrist. Lower that hand, step back, plank, and downward facing dog. Okay. So you want to make sure you're pulling the weight back into the legs so there's not as much pressure in the wrists. Knees come down. Opposite side, let's take that left leg forward. Okay. So when you're ready, you reach the arms back. Inhale, sweep up. You can untuck those back toes. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale, sweep up. 
Breath with movement. And let the breath start before you. That's how we coordinate. Good. Last one, we stay upright. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come back. Exhale, twist. Inhale, come back. Last one, we hold. Exhale, twist. Take that right hand down to the inside of the foot. Lift that left arm up and circle up that wrist. Good. Lower that hand. Step back. Laying the pose. Downward facing dog. Let's get into that first back bend, okay? So we're going to come down to those knees. And you're already working for this a bit with your cat cows. So we're going to walk those knees back. Come all the way up to your belly, okay? So your hands, not right underneath the shoulders, but slightly back. Pull the heads of the shoulders back with this activity in your back. Press your feet down, engage those legs. Not going high at all. Just come incrementally low. And then exhale, tap. I'll do that five times. Each time just come with like a centimeter higher. And that's not very much. Press your pelvis down, press your feet down, spread your toes. The glutes will engage some. Good. Two more, pull those shoulder heads back, so don't collapse like this here. Lift up. Last one. Start the inhale, then. Good. Exhale, lower, tuck those toes, press back. Downward facing down. Maybe bend, maybe even take those legs wide and rock side to side. Good. Let's get those hamstrings. So a lot of us, whether from being too weak or too strong, get tight hamstrings. So right leg goes forward. And if you have something like yoga blocks, you can take them and bring them into the game. Uh, books, uh, old DVDs, rubber band it together. That might be weird, but it could be doable. So if you're open enough, you can start to bend those elbows and maybe take the arms right onto your blocks. Could you do it the high way? Yeah, if you feel stable, you could definitely take it that way. Okay? So toes pulling towards you, we'll get more calf. Toes going forward, we'll get more shin. What do you need? Two. Pick the one that was the most. Oh, that feels nice. Stay there. Breathe. Engage the core. Walk back up. Good. We're gonna walk those hands or those bricks over to the left. Start to walk those hands out. So we're getting into those inner hamstrings. If you don't have bricks, no problem. You're just on your palms. Then stretch right through that inner hamstring, medial hamstring. Same thing, other side. So whether you have bricks or not, you're walking. This time you pivot your leg up to the side so it's pointed up to the right. And back. Okay. That leg fairly straight if you can, or engaged. Yeah. Walk it back. Good. We'll switch out. When you're ready. Left leg Bricks or hands. This time I'll show you without the bricks. You could use your fists, okay? Make a space in that left hip. You can start to bend those elbows back, toes forward, toes back. Two more, toes forward, toes back. Pick the one that says, yep, I need that attention. And breathe. Come back up right. Walk those hands over towards the right, getting that inner hamstring. Leg pretty straight, this starts to bend, maybe that's what you need today. We'll just see, is that available? Okay. Then as we walk it to the left, let the toes turn out, let the hip turn out. You could use bricks here, palms, fists, breathe. Relax your neck. And walk it back there. We bend into front knee just to step back, downward facing dog. 
Good. A little arm strength in there. Nothing too fancy. We won't even do a full chaturanga today. Low key, right? But knees come to the floor maybe slightly further back than they would be in tabletop. Hands come under the shoulders. Okay. What we're going to do is go slightly forward. Engage the belly. So don't sag. Engage. Bend the elbows back. And straighten. Bend the elbows back. See how high I'm staying? Now I could let the shoulders just kind of sag or scoop that energy. Use your breath. Last one. Good. Puppy pose. Keep the hips high. Walk the arms forward. Forehead to the floor. Couple breaths. You can untuck or tuck. Stretch those arms. Slowly. Now this is a favorite for a lot of people. Um, it looks difficult and when you get in it can feel kind of awkward. It's a great pose to stretch the muscle between your pelvis and your rib cage. Okay? So you're going to take your right leg out and your left leg in. So it kind of looks like a senior picture pose, right? Now first, if you're already rounding the back, sit on a blanket. It doesn't have to be a yoga blanket. What we're going to do though is take this right hand to this left ankle. And then just see if that helps give you the stability to reach up and over. Now, I've been practicing this pose for a long time. So grabbing the foot for me, the outer foot of the big toe, not a big deal. But I want to feel that stretch there, right? So I can still feel it way up here or holding the head. So you want to feel that lovely stretch right here between your rib cage and your pelvis, okay? Wherever you're at. And bend that right elbow. You can look up, forward, or down. And then slowly come up. We switch. Okay. But first, you find the upright spine. Take that hand to the ankle. Free that arm up. Reach. So you might say, Well, there's my foot. There's my head. Or oh, I'm going to let my arm hang. We're looking right here. Between rib cage and pelvis, breathe. Maybe even close the eyes. Last breath. Foot very active. Inhale. Good. Let's bring those legs towards each other. Not super close. Go a little bit further. Taras. Even if you don't have full range of motion, I want you to see how much you can get from your hips. And then you might bring your elbows down. You may hold your chin, your forehead, the sides of the head. Some of us might take our so all the way down. Couple breaths. Relax your shoulders. And get soft. Organize your legs towards each other. One shin in front of the other. It doesn't matter which one. Take that left hand over to the left. Reach that right arm up and over. So another little side stretch. Good. Right. Take that into a twist. So you go opposite. Take that right arm back, left arm across. Press lightly into that thigh to help turn on the rest of it. Maybe even turn the back. Second melting hand. Good. Hands to heart center. Other side, right hand comes over, left arm up and over. Left arm reaches up. Right arm comes across. Maybe turn in the back of the hand. And then look forward, back. Whatever feels good. Release. Reach those arms up. Exhale, hands down. Go ahead and come to our back. So you're going to come towards the bridge prep. So those feet, those ankles, those heels, spread the knees. Okay. If you need something under the back, make sure it's not thick. When we inhale, lift the right, reach the arms back. Little waterfall bridge. Exhale. 
Sure, you're relaxing. Angles, wrists, belly. Breath so Sound of the bells reminds us of the element of space between our thoughts. Between the spaces in our body, okay, not just jammed in, there's space in there. And then the space all around us that connects us and divides us at the same time. It's our web, the space. So if you're still in Shavasana, bend the knees, roll to the side of your trees, and take your time coming to a comfortable seat. 
Maybe you're not habitual by your given thoughts. I'll take the hands and help the palm heart center. Simply thanking the day for bringing you space, the time for practice, the energy, and the focus. Thank you for sharing these moments. Namaste.